How can I tell that Vikings ate herring? Uh, do you ask? If, do you know any Vikings you, you can ask? Film, For didn't this they? particular how, we have to dig very deep indeed. Come with me to the how pit, and waiting mm -hmm. there for us is Dr. Andrew Jones, better known as Bone, from ARC, the Archaeological Resource Centre in York. And there he is. All right, Andrew? Yeah, fine. Can I come on down? Please do. On my way. Through the layers of history to the bottom of the how archaeological dig, because this is where the answer to the how lies. Bones. Hi. Hi. What have you got here? Well, we've been doing some sieving to see what sort of bits and pieces we can find. And we've got some things that we've collected by trowling away and picking out big things. What have you found? This is um, a shoe, a Viking Age toddler's shoe. It's an amazing um, discovery in remarkably good condition. You can see where the toggle went through the little hole there. So there's a little person who was alive um, a thousand years ago would have worn that. That's extraordinary. And there's a piece of Viking Age pottery. It's highly distinctive with these uh, particular fingerprints on them. It's there. Yeah. And the last thing, which is highly characteristic, is a comb. And the fashion in all these objects changed through time, so we know we're in Viking Age layers. Extraordinary. But the how, of course, was, how can we tell that the Vikings ate herring? Well, yes, indeed. And we can do that by looking for food remains. And most of these are tiny things, so we've got to do the sieving. And what we found are fruit stones. Some of them are wild fruit stones, sloes, and others are cultivated plants, small plums and so forth. And, and these have been eaten by, by Vikings? Yes, we know these are fruit stones that have passed through people's intestines and come up with their poo because here is the poo. This is Viking Age poo or excrement. How extraordinary. You're sure of that? Absolutely positive, because when we look at a bit of this under a microscope, you find the eggs of worms that lived inside people's intestines, in their guts. And the final piece of the whole jigsaw, the solution to the detective story, is here. That's right, because mixed in with the poo and the fruit stones and the other food remains are lots of tiny herring bones, many of which are crushed when people have chewed them up. Fascinating. So that's how we can tell that Vikings ate herring. Dr. Andrew Jones, Bone, thank you. Thank you. For showing us how. Thank you. Hmm.